you just missed that monster. There you go. Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she born in love The way you twerk it shot What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 3 for something a little bit different. So I got the slew of Horizon Edition Drift Skills Boost cars. We have, of course, the Corvette Z06, the SRT Hellcat, the Cosworth Horizon Edition, which I have not driven yet, the Focus RS Drift Skills, the Holden Drift Skills. Let's see, I know we got the uh, S15 Drift Skills, the Subaru, and the Toyota Supra Drift Skills Boost car. So we're going to drive all of them today, find out which one is my favorite one. These are all stock. I may have to swap the RS to rear wheel drive to make this fair. So we're going to start off in the Z06 here on my favorite drift zone, Twin Hairpins. I'm going to see how these cars do stock and pick which one's my favorite. Ooh, as we almost smash into an abarth. So we're going to rip this downhill here in the Z06. Horizon Edition Drift Skills Boost car. See how this goes stock. Ooh. Does it get as sideways as I had hoped? It's a really long e-brake grab, but now it's good. I feel like this car gets a lot of grip, probably because of the serious downforce it has. I mean, it's not horrible. There we go. But it could be a lot better. Only 72,000. I mean, again, it gets a little bit more grip than I had hoped. Now, I am not doing any tuning of these. We're going to try these stock and then pick our favorite one and maybe make a build on it. We'll see. I'm going to rip this thing uphill now. Oof. It's got definitely got the angle. Oh, don't hit that car. Thank you. Lost drift there, though. Get back. Don't hit the car. Almost hit the car. So, Z06 Horizon Edition Drift Skills Boost. Not my favorite one so far, but who knows? It could be the better one of the group. So, we're going to switch cars here. Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Horizon Edition Drift Skills Boost. We're going to get that, of course. I'll take 10 grand. It's no big deal. Gonna have a sip of my uh, Moscato here. I did come into a little extra money in this game. About like 8 mil. It's because I sold a bunch of cars at auction. So, we're good. We got money. Alright. Second car in this Horizon Edition Drift Skills Challenge. This seems promising. See if it doesn't grip as hard as that Z06 did. Bad entry, way bad entry. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a restart entry with this car. That was, I, I didn't even initiate. I don't even know what I was doing. I know I failed that trick, so. You don't gotta tell me twice, right? Got it. Oof. Okay, so second gear in this car, not a good idea. All right, Let's see if we can knock it cars. There we go. We are in a private online session, so we don't have to deal with drive guitars. There we go. Ooh, get that fly tap. Okay, so this slides a lot better than that, that Z06 was doing. I feel like I should have probably been in fourth gear, but oh no. We already beat the Z06's score. So I like this one a little bit better. Obviously, the scores are a little bit better for that this one. So we're going to rip this car uphill. I probably should have been in six here. Well, let's see how this goes. Or six here. I mean, fourth gear. What am I saying? Six. Turn that in. Ooh. Okay, so it doesn't have the angle like the Corvette does. But definitely has the body weight to throw itself around. 
I'm saving the best cars for last because I know the Horizon Edition S15 does handle amazing. Did a review on that in a previous episode. So the Hellcat SRT, not a bad car. I mean, probably tuning in a little bit would be probably a whole heck of a lot better. But not a bad car at all. Drift skills boost, getting all the getting all those drift skills up in there. All right, next car. What do we got in the lineup? We did the Corvette. We did the Hellcat. Ooh, the Ford Escort Cosworth. That's all-wheel drive too. I feel like I'm gonna have to swap this. Do we try it all-wheel drive first, and then swap it? We're gonna try it. Rip it downhill once, and then we'll probably swap to rear-wheel drive to make this comparison fair. Oh, this is not even gonna be fair. I don't even think this is gonna slide. Nope, not at all. All right, so we're gonna have to swap this to real drive. So this car is not gonna be exactly stock. So we're gonna swap this as well as the RS. So if you guys wanna see a specific build on one of these Horizon Edition cars with, you know, the settings and everything that I use, if you wanted to see a full build, Comment it down below. Pick one of them. I will do, I will do a full build on it, showing you all the settings that I use, camera, toe, caster, all those. All right. So it's Focus RS, swap to rear-wheel drive, drift skills boost. See what this can do. Oh, I feel like this thing doesn't have a lot of power, but we're going to see. Oh, wrong gear. And complete loss of power. So, this car needs some major power upgrades to be able to compete with those big boy cars. But it handles pretty nice. I honestly think the handling of it is a lot nicer than those other ones. Feels a little more free. Like I said, this is just my take on these cars. You guys may like a car that I don't. This is just my, you know, personal opinion on the cars. Ooh. Third gear, not the best choice for going uphill, apparently. This car is bogging. So the power is not here, obviously. Talking other cars with about 800 some horse, and this car's only, I believe, got 300, maybe? I don't even know. Oof. For a drift skills boost car, it's kind of kind of lame. Probably with a lot of power additives, it'd probably be a very nasty car. I may actually do a build on one of these because I'm kind of intrigued by what I could get it to do. New club member, Brad Bradsters zero eight four seven two seven. Welcome to Evil Rabbit Drift Team. What's going on? Big shout out to you. All right. Let us fast travel back up to the top of the twin hairpins drift zone. I think we're going to do a build on that Focus. If you guys want to see a build, drift build on that Focus RS drift skills boost car, comment down below. Don't forget to tap the like button, subscribe for more content. I do appreciate the support. So we are up here in this car that is now covered to rear wheel drive. Oof. I don't think the power is going to be there. This one only has 300, the Focus at 350 so we'll see how this goes close gear ripping it downhill stay away from that car I feel like that's a crappy start I'm not doing the greatest on initiations right now my, my drifting has seriously dropped a little bit since I've been doing a lot of dirt rally and dirt four Rally in the dirt, in dirt four. Yeah, that, that's it. All right, here we go. Ooh, it'll give me a whole day break long enough. Nope, definitely not enough power. Car would probably be great in the parking lot section. I don't think this car is worth running it back up the hill, but just to be fair, we can do both ways. Oh. 
Sounds pretty cool. Might be cool fully tuned. Another car that I might want to do a drift build on. Because I haven't done it yet. Ooh, the power is not there for this. Yep. Definitely needs more power. Clutch kick. Nope. It's probably good in the dirt. It is, you know, a rally car, so it does have dirt tires to get the nice rally spare on top. It's a Ford Escort RS. Drift skills. Kind of failed. Moving on. Because now I feel like we should get into cars with some more power. What do we got next? Top of the favorites. Ah, the Holden Tirano Drift Skills Boost car. Now, I know this car has a thousand horsepower. It does handle good out of the box. Holden Tirano Drift Skills Boost. Mind you, all these cars are stock tuned. There we go. Rip it into twin hairpins. See how this does. So much more power than the other cars. On the outside of that Mercedes, this car's definitely got the power out of the box from the Forza wheel spins. Oh yeah. Clutch kick at the end. So far this is the highest scoring car on the downhill section. So let's see what it rips uphill. Probably so far my favorite handling car so far that I've driven right now in this episode. Ooh, hugging that inside grass line. Definitely has some power to go uphill for sure. Oh boy. Almost lost that. The wheel gets very light when it comes to grass. Uh save it okay so Holden tomato drift skills boost so far best score on the downhill definitely has the power that's probably why I feel as the Corvette had the power just had way too much grip all right next car ah uh, my favorite the S15 horizon edition drift skills boost this car has Stupid amounts of steering angle, as well as a decent amount of power. I can't believe I actually have one that is stock. I believe I own three of these. Different tunes. All right, here we go. Twin hairpins, S15 Horizon Edition. All right, throw this in fourth. Here we go. Ooh. Oh yeah. Definitely a lot smoother than the Holden. I mean, come on, it's an S chassis. Now, Holden did get, I did get a little bit higher score with the Holden, but I didn't throw this car in as hard as I threw the Holden in. I feel like I could have, so we're going to see what rips uphill, though. This sounds amazing. You can't deny the sound of this car. Whoops, probably should have been in third. Ooh. Oh, he just missed that Mazda. There we go, nice and smooth up the hill. Trying to work about smoother steering. I saw a previous comment from a subscriber saying to be a little more smooth around my steering. But of course, these cars are stock tuned. They're not dialed in tuned like my other S15 is. So we got two more Drift Skills Boost cars to go. We have the Subaru and the Supra. Subaru is converted to rear wheel drive. I don't think this is going to do as good as any of the other ones because this is just like the Escort and the RS. But it sounds good. Oof, hear that crackle. All right, here we go. All right, throw us in third. There we go. Ooh, 
break. Yep. It is lacking the power. It definitely lacks the power like the Escort. Yep. So... Subaru completely fails. So we're just gonna throw it off the hill. It's better in the dirt anyways. Probably would be good, like I said, if it was tuned. So I may have to do a tune on all of these just to reclaim the drift skills name on these cars, but it sounds good. You can't deny this sound. The crackle and the pops of that Subaru. Amazing. All right, last Horizon Edition car that we are going to test stock. And it is the 2J of the Supra. Okay. Let us uh, rip the 2J down. Stock tune. All these cars have been stocked so far. My favorite is the S15. Let's see what the Supra can do. Ooh, okay. I feel like I lost power there. Power should have been third. Probably not doing this super very much justice right now because it seems to bog down a lot. So, definitely probably did not do the super justice. We're gonna try it uphill, see how it does. It, it, it's, it's gripping a lot like the Corvette does. So I, this car would definitely need a tune. Probably to be amazing. Yep, third gear is definitely the way to go in this car. So I think we might try this car downhill one more time in third because I kind of botched it in fourth or start in fourth and then shift it in the third. So we're going to rip the super downhill one more time. I'm going to make a final call on these cars stock for my personal opinion. Now you guys' opinion may be different. This is my opinion. Start in fourth. Put it out third. You break it. Off the clutch. Around the cars. Yep, third gear was definitely the ticket. Whoops. Cut that little soon. So the super handles pretty good. Not gonna lie, super handles pretty well. But overall, I think my favorite stock drift skills boost car is going to be that S15. I do have a heart for S chassis. And it does handle very well out of the box. Uh, I do have a tuned stock one, non-Horizon Edition, that handles just as good. Doesn't have as much steering angle. But we're just ripping this 2J through the streets. So you guys like what you see and you want to see more, if you want to see a specific trip build, don't forget to comment down below what you want to see built. One of these Horizon Edition cars, maybe a full drift build on that Focus RS. Maybe on the Cosworth, or maybe even the Subaru, or the Supra. Just let me know down in the comment section below, how did I not die? Okay. As always, you know, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All which are found in the description box below. Don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the support. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'm going to rip the Supra around a little more. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. Loving, loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk and shout.